Nobody told her. Nobody told her that nothing much is expected of her, and therefore she doesn't have to hope for much. Nobody told her. Nobody told her that she's getting on that train in that car and she's caught in the traffic. And what is this destination? What's the whole stroll here in your city? You know where the, the prostitutes hang out? What's that area? Come on, we can talk about that now. We're students. Does anybody know where the whores hang out? We got whores in this, this town, don't we? Come on, come on, y'all. Where the whores hang out? Where do they hang out? Do you know where they are? Where, the, where people go to, uh, to buy prostitutes, favors, where women sell sex. Does anybody know? Maybe I got some prostitutes right here in this room and they're not telling me. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody knows. Nobody knows where the prostitutes hang out. Huh? They're nice students. Uh, <laughs> this is a nice community. Oh, I <laughs> These are good people here. I hear you. And what is this destination? West Highway? Now, that's the whole stroll in New York City. 57th Street? That's another street in New York City. Subic Bay? That's an area in the Philippines. Manila. Nobody told her, Nobody told her. that while doing time for prostitution, trying to get enough money to feed her baby, Nobody told her. Nobody told her that her baby's brains would be splattered on the back seat of a car in the tender line. Nobody told her. Nobody told her. Nobody told her. Nobody told her. So how could she know? Nobody. 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 I love it in Russian. Nobody in Russian is what? Nikola. Say it again. Nikola. Nika. Nikola. 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 I'm glad you're here. And if you don't teach them nothing else, teach them to have enough self-respect to learn how to wash their funky butts. Give my hand to God. Some of them so young, they don't even know how to use a damn pass. You know, I've been in and out of jail since 1965. Mm -hmm. And I got three daughters, three. And I ain't never seen as bad as it is these days. Young women coming and going this time, they ain't got no sense of themselves. They need somebody to help them understand that you ain't got to be in and out of jail to feel important. They got to find a reason to cut loose that crack and get rid of these men that's going to pimp them for a car. Leather coat and more drugs. Look at them. Most of them ain't 25 years old yet and have the nerve to be pregnant up in here. Here I am to God. Like I told you, I got three daughters. Three. My oldest girl was born deaf and dumb. She the reason I went to jail in the first place. You see, I, uh, I, I embezzled some money from this company I was working in. Oh, I took that money. I took that money so I could pay for my daughter's training. The kind of training she was gonna need to take care of herself despite her handicap. You see, these girls, they need somebody to help them understand that they got the life of their own. They don't need these men coming and going. And I'd rather see them flush them babies down the toilet than grown them in the world to treat them like they do. How? Oh, the way they'll lease their baby to the dope man for a rock. That flesh and blood, honey. And then the dope man, oh, he gonna get busted. Police come in, boom, knock down the door, take his raggedy ass off the jail. And then that baby, that poor baby is lost to child protective service. This ain't something I heard. I've seen this with my own eyes. 
And then they want to come to me crying about their babies. You know what I tell them? I tell them, ah, you take all that wine and then complain and somewhere else. Because when you was out there fucking sucking high out of your mind, I did not get one nut. I did not experience one thrill behind your bullshit. So please, take all that drama somewhere else. In my hand to God. It's a hard line, ain't it? <laughs> but in this life, I've learned you better come with something if you want to get something. I'll see you next Wednesday, Mama. You take care of yourself, okay? Goodbye, Mama Pearl. Bye.